There's the pig. Ah! Uh, ah! Doesn't yeah. look good. Of course, we get nailed by the other snake right when we're take. Uh. Ah! You going somewhere, dude? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Shit! Everything's attacking uh, us all uh, at once. Not good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not good. They ate our hands and feet. Welcome back, everybody, to Stranded Deep. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to start searching for some boss islands. I do have some kind of bad news, though. Not real bad news. Could have been worse news, but sort of kind of bad news. The bad news is this. Um, I did a multiplayer last weekend with Cronus, and in doing that multiplayer a live stream that we did on Sunday, I think it was, I accidentally overwrote my... Uh, my single player game. <laughs> when you start a game here in Stranded Deep, uh, or you start another game for like multiplayer, you have to change the save slot. And <clears throat> I completely forgot to do that. And so I overwrote the save that had all of my adventures at that, uh, that island where we killed the great white sharks. Um, so I had to revert back to a manual backup because I do keep manual backups of all my Let's Play series for these um, for these types of situations. And uh, so it set us back to day 43, uh, which was right before I think we took off for that island. So kind of sucks, but it could have been worse. At least I you know, have a backup and we didn't lose the whole thing. Uh, we just lost the progress that we made on that island. So, I mean, I might go back there at some point and regather up the resources, but we don't really need to necessarily. There wasn't anything on that island that we absolutely need. It was just more of the same stuff that we already have for the most part. Um, so I think we're just going to pick up from here and continue on. So what I would like to do is, you know, we've made the gyrocopter. We've got the outboard motor now. And mostly what's left to do, uh, I, it, from my, my point of view anyways, is just to explore the rest of the islands. There should be at least one more player made island that we haven't seen yet and find these boss islands and, and start working towards um, the end of the game so uh, that being said uh, what we want to do is uh, for what I've been told and what I've experienced myself the refined spears are the best weapons to use I mean we do have um, you know we do have that harpoon gun thing but I haven't been very impressed with it and so um, are we yeah, I guess we don't have room in there uh, for those. Yeah, I haven't been very impressed with it. So what we're going to do is um, probably just stick to the refined spears. That should be able to go back in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we do have um, eight already, but I think we're going to need a whole mess of them. So what I'm going to do, i got a bunch of lashings and I've got a bunch of rock piles here. Um, so I think what we need to do to make the refined spear is... We need a normal, we need a crude spear first, right? Let's just double check that. Yeah, a crude, a crude spear. Okay, so I'm going to just make a whole bunch of refined spears. And then um, at first light, what time is it right now? Yeah, it's about 1230 um, in the morning. So what I'm going to do is uh, make a bunch of spears. And then if it's still not light by the time I finish with that, we will, uh, I'll just sleep uh, the rest of the night. We'll wake up in the morning and we will take off. So. Um, and also <clears throat> I'd like, I'd like to get another batch of these ready to go so we can make some more gas too. So I don't know. We'll see. Nevertheless, when I bring you guys back, uh, we will uh, take off and start looking for the boss islands. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. It's morning. Uh, it doesn't look like our potatoes want to behave. So whatever. Um, we are going to, we should have though, actually, I think a full outboard motor because uh yeah it's almost completely full and then you know we always have the option of the sail and creating a rudder because i got the parts for that uh as well if we run out of fuel okay so i got a full chest of spears here and then a few more here uh, i have no idea how many spears it's going to take to kill um these bosses so i guess we're going to find out um when we find one right so let's see i want to 
How are we doing on food and drink? We're actually doing pretty good on food and drink. Let's grab... Do I have a small... Most of my meat is large meat, which is a good thing, of course. Um, let's just grab one piece, but we'll wait and maybe eat it uh, after a while. Okay, so let's hop on here. I want to make sure I've got basic supplies. we got some bandages there. Um, looks like we have an extra bandage in there. Uh, we've got a couple of aloe salves for sun. We've got one thing of water. Uh, we should probably grab some more water. Just because I'm not really planning on doing a whole lot in terms of camping out at new islands. I, I want to be searching for bosses. So we're just going to grab some water out of here. You guys are still fully watered, so we should be fine uh, with that. All right. And I think we're ready to go. Let's go uh, save the game here real quick. Okay. All right. So we know that we have been south uh, east-ish. So let's go ahead and see if we can... I don't think I'm going to be able to back out of here without running into the land, yeah. Unless we kind of do it bumper boat style. Oh, that could actually work. Here, let's also get into third person view. Yeah, this guy, this guy does not uh, turn too sharp. Well, he does if you get the outboard motor up on the sand and then it turns. So, yeah, go figure. <laughs> Don't get that a whole lot. Should probably have just pulled it out by hand because all we're really doing here is consuming more fuel. But this this will get us. Well, um, this will get us out. <laughs> okay, so we know that if we go towards the aircraft carrier, we're basically going. Uh, east, south, east-ish. So I think we're going to turn this way and we're going to start going north-ish. Now, all I know about the boss islands is that when you look at them in the cartographer, they show up as red, but I haven't actually visited one yet. And I don't know exactly where they are because I didn't study the map to try and figure that out. So let's... um. Let's go ahead and stop here for a minute, and I want to pull out my... What do I, oh, I got a spear in my hand. I want to pull out my compass. So let's do that. Grab the compass, and then... Uh, hello? I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's a click and release mouse button thing. If you hold it down, it just switches back and forth. Okay, gotcha. All right, so north is really actually going to be more that way. So we got that big kind of cloud, poofy cloud thing. Uh-oh, game lock up. Uh, so let's kind of just head towards that cloud for the moment and just see where things take us. I've been to pretty much almost all of the vanilla islands within sight of my island. So we farmed most of those already. So we want to kind of, I think this one up in front of us might be the Fisherman's Horizon Island. So we want to get past that and keep going uh, in a northerly uh, heading. And then anything we run into after we pass Fisherman's Horizon is going to be, should be a new new island to us. But if, if it's just a normal vanilla island, I'm not planning on spending any time there. We're just going to keep moving on until we find the first boss island. And again, I don't know if the game lets you know that it's a boss island. I, I've never done it. I've never seen anybody else do it. Oh, look, there's a whale. So yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, I suppose. We'll figure it out. Look at that big guy. Okay, so that's Fisherman's Horizon there. I see an island off in the distance, just a little bit off 
our port side. Actually, I see two. So let's head towards those. There's another island that way, too. And just see what happens here. All right, let's take a quick peek at this island here. The raft kind of drift around a little bit. Okay. So we've got a crab. Uh, one thing I would like to do is pick up any potatoes that we find. So we can take those back home and just keep going on our fuel consumption. But I'm not going to go way out of my way to look for stuff like that though either. Another thing I might actually do is grab stone while we're here, just because I use a lot of my stone to make all these spears. Ah. So let's uh, let's go grab the pick out of the raft. I'm gonna try and stay in third person here, just because I'm not planning on staying here for very long. All right, let's grab that. This isn't, um, you know, technically this isn't a resource gathering thing, but we will pick up rocks, probably some clay too, though. You know what? I was just thinking about clay. I am not planning on changing my base for the rest of this uh, playthrough. Uh, you dirty rat. So, uh, 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 this is really hard to fight in third person. Uh, Let me kind of mess this up a little bit. Anyway, um, I'm not planning on changing my base. I like it the way that it is, and I'm not even so sure that we need clay for anything else, you know? So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I know we need a little bit of clay to make jars and stuff, but I've got a bunch of jars already, so... It just might not be worth the effort to collect a bunch of clay if we're not really planning on building with it, I guess is what I'm thinking here. Okay, so we got those. I'm um, just kind of quickly looking for a potato plant. There's a kawawa fruit thingamadoodle. Pick up any loose stones, too. Okay, well, let's get back on the raft. And what we're going to do is store all the stone in here. have a, a stick in there so we'll put that one back in there for water let's put the water in here give ourselves a little more room in our inventory how are we doing on food yeah we're doing pretty good on food and water not too bad okay so yeah i didn't really find anything else on this island that seems all that fantastic we <clears throat> we could dive but not really interested in doing that so let's go ahead and take off uh we got that island there let's do this again okay so that is to the north yeah so I, I think we just head for that island over there and see what happens let's do it Okay, let's drop anchor here. And once again, look around. I will pick up cloth. There's 
There's a refined axe and a lashing. And inside of there is a container, but not enough room. What's in the container? Ooh. Yeah, we want that. Um, okay. Let's do this. Let's drop the lashing. Grab the container. Kind of weird doing this in third person. Okay, we don't want that. Um, kind of hate to throw the rest of that stuff away. So let's just ditch the spear. And we'll put the lashing in here. And we'll keep the rest of that. But otherwise, I didn't really see anything too phantasmagorical in this place. Uh, let's go up into the center there and see if there's any stone thingies or... Um, or potatoes. I don't know, maybe you can't find potatoes on these really small islands. I'm not sure. Apparently there's a shark out there. But here again, I, like I said, I don't know. How am I supposed to know if I'm at a boss island or not? I'm asking that question more rhetorically because I'm sure we're going to find out. I just don't know yet how that works is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, let's harvest this. All right, tell you what let's do. Um, there's another peepee. -pee. Let's build a shelter just so we can save and sleep. So I'd rather not be out at night time. Uh, there was another lashing right there. And we'll grab these sticks. And we're just going to have to cut down a palm tree to get some fronds. Okay, let's sleep. And uh, looks like the night's almost over. Uh, we'll do a save. And let's take off. I don't care about that stupid crap. So we're going to head to that island over there next. Okay. So this island's going to have pigs on it. So I'm going to want to be in first person view to deal with them and snakes too, for that matter. Let's do something else as well. Let's go into our, our map. Oh, wow. We're like way north now. Okay. So there's a bunch of islands surrounding us to the north. But nothing on this map seems to indicate like boss island. So, okay. I know the cartographer does because it outlines them in red. Let's look for potato plants while we're here and whatever else. Okay, there's one of the snakes. He's been dealt with. There's the pig. Ah! Ah, doesn't yeah. look good. Of course, we get nailed by the other snake right when we're take. Uh. Ah! You going somewhere, dude? Ah! 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 Shit! Everything's attacking us all at once. Not good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was not good. They ate our hands and feet. You died from poisoning. Really? I don't think I died from poisoning. I think I was poisoned and I died from hogs and crabs attacking me. Maybe what we should do is head west. Or maybe northwest. Yeah, let's do that instead. Okay, so it looks like we have an island... To the southwest and one to the northwest. 
Let's uh, aim for the northwest one first, I guess. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think we have found the other player-made island, because this does not look familiar to me. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm at either, because um, my map doesn't seem to be working anymore. Uh, so when I bring up the map, it doesn't, it just doesn't give anything. Um, I think I'm probably more east than I am west at this point. And probably somewhere around maybe the middle of the map or so. Uh, but again, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell for sure. So since we are here, let's go ahead and take a look at this island. I still have not come across a, a boss island. Uh, and I think maybe what we'll do too before we start exploring in earnest is let's set up a little shelter just so we have a save point. I ran out of gas a while ago, so I've just been using the sail, so of course everything is a lot slower. Uh, so yeah, let's just set up a quick shelter here first before we venture in uh, deeper to this island and take a look at it. Okay, we'll save. This would be a nice place to build a base. It's nice and open and everything. I like it. I'm just going to drop this and this. And let's also drop this for now, too. What do I have in there? A uh, corrugate. Okay. I actually have corrugate on the raft, so let's consolidate that. Sounds like we got a shark or something out here. Yeah, it looks like it's a goblin. Yeah, screw him. Okay. So, yeah, let's just do a quick exploration of this island here. Uh, it is definitely a new island, not one that I've seen before. And assuming it's a player-made island, because it doesn't look like any of the vanilla islands. I really like this open area. This would be an ideal place to build a base. Uh, good, there's more potatoes. I've been gathering as many potatoes as possible. Because when we get back to the base, I'm going to plant more uh, potato planters so we can get more fuel production going. Because, um, you know, obviously we can move much faster. I'd like to do some more with a gyrocopter too, but I just didn't want to take it out um, until we had at least a, a backup tank of fuel. Because at least in the raft, when I run out of gas, I can still, you know, move with the sail. But in the gyrocopter, we would be pretty stranded if that happened. So we got like a little crick running through the uh, half of the island it looks like this is pretty neat I believe the island that we were on in in the last episode was called Sunset Island there's some more potatoes here nice look at all these potatoes And I can't remember I can't remember what the other island is that I installed, so I'll have to go look in the cartographer. But because I've been unsuccessful in finding the boss islands anyways, I'm thinking about maybe cheating a little bit and just looking at the cartographer. Only because, you know, I only have so much time to play this game, and when it starts taking several hours to find something, then it doesn't... You know, it just doesn't work for me because I've got other games that i got to record for the channel and real life to deal with and all that, too, you know. So, um, I'm going to take this. Uh, no, I'm not. Forget it. I don't need any of that stuff. Here's some cloth. Let's go look down here real quick. Cloth. Um, I would like to take the rations. There's even a bow here. What's in here? Yeah, I'm going to... We're going to have to come back here because I don't want to leave this stuff behind. Let's eat all of this. How are we doing, by the way, on food and water? Oh, we're in pretty good shape. Um, What do we want? 
We want the ration for sure. Don't really need another refined knife. Um, so let's do this. Uh, we don't need that. But we'll put the ration in there. So let's get rid of this thing. Pick up the cloth. I guess we could pick up the coconut flask and the duct tape and the lantern. Okay, no room for that. So let's put that and that in there. That gives us room for the lantern and the container. Okay, good enough. Label maker. Oh, there's a fishing rod and a bobber too and more cloth. All right, here, let's drop this for a second. That has cloth in it, so let's pick up this cloth. I'm gonna put the duct tape in here instead and carry the... Empty hand. Pick this up. Okay. Alright, now I don't have room to carry anything, so I'm going to run this back to the raft really quick, and then we'll keep looking around. Ah, oh, doesn't look good. Okay, we got nailed by a damn snake. Um, but I have stuff for that, so... Let's go into here and grab... Actually... We picked up a flask, so let's just make another uh, PP. I think we put the flask in here, right? Yeah. So let's grab that. I'm keeping potatoes in here. Um, we're going to grab that PP, actually. That didn't sound good, did it? Just never mind. Never you mind. Okay, and take that. Okay, antidote's good. We can put this in here. Those stack, do they? Yeah, they do. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, we're bringing home um, a nice little supply of potatoes. Let's pull that aloe out of there and put that in. I'm going to take the flask back with us. If we find an aloe plant, another one, we can make another sunscreen thing. Uh, but... Yeah, want to keep looking for more potato plants. And let's go see if we can find that snake and take it out just so we don't step on it again later. He was right up in this area. We were just running across here when he nailed us. More potatoes. Man, this is the potato island. He must have slithered off. Oh, I love this place, man. Here we go. Okay, we should be able to make one of these. And we just did. Nice. Okay, let's go over here. Another little kind of dry ditch area. Huh. Okay. There's a chest. Could really kind of live without all of that stuff, honestly. Well... I, I kind of want the chest, though, is the thing. So let's just grab it. Yeah, the number of potatoes on this place are amazing. They're just all over the place. So we're going to be able to get our regular old refinery going. Let's 
crazy, I tell you. Peepee -pee plant growing on the side there. It's a little unusual. I've only seen them on the ground. It's like a little lagoon or something. Okay, here we've got some barrels, cloth, some brick, scrap, and clay. Oh, and a bunch of water bottles, too, and a jerry can. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this guy down. And what we want to do is throw out crap that we don't care about, starting with this. And this. And this. And this. I don't even think we need any more vehicle parts for anything, as far as I know. All right. Now, let's keep the corrugate in there and put this in there and that in there. And a stack of potatoes. Okay, so that gives us enough room. We're going to pick up the brick scrap and the clay. I want the... Oh, I want the air tank and the jerry can. And that pretty much fills us up. I'm going to come back and get... Oh, man, there's another one, too. Yeah, I'm, i am I got to come back here and get this stuff. I can't leave it. <laughs> I just can't leave it. Not going to happen. Okay, so let's pick that up. And let's just kind of finish looking around here. Big old wreck down there. I like this little kind of trail going through here. That's kind of a neat little feature. Some tires and barrels right there, really easy to get to. More pee pee. More potatoes. No room for those. Um, we are taking potatoes. We are not passing up potatoes. We're going to make the biggest ass garden you've ever seen. Oh, cave. Cave with cloth. Oh, and a whole bunch more loot. Look at all that stash, man. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm digging this island, man. Uh, in terms of just features and looking cool and that sort of thing, I still think I like our island a little bit better, Sentinel Island, but this one has great resources. It's got an awesome building spot. Um, and I definitely like this better than Fisherman's Horizon or Sunset Bay or whatever that other island was. So this is my... I'd say this is my second favorite player island of the four that we installed on this map, which means I'm liable to use it again in the future. Okay. So let's go back to the raft here. Just make sure we've explored everything else. Well, we probably haven't explored everything, but I think we did a pretty good job of exploring. You can't, uh, you can't beat the amount of potatoes that are in this place. If you started on this island, you'd be able to be up and running with gasoline in no time. I haven't seen any big, big hogs, which isn't necessarily a good thing. 
We know there's snakes, and we've seen some small ones. Okay, well, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is let's go ahead and sleep. And then I'm going to gather up all this crap, probably go back and get uh, some more of that stuff we found in that cave, too. And then head back to our island and plant a whole bunch more potato plots. And then maybe even wait until all those mature and get ourselves, um, you know, a, a good supply of gasoline. I want to fill the outboard motor. I want to fill the gyrocopter and I want to have at least one additional full jerry can of fuel. And then when we go exploring again, we'll probably take the gyro out. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.